Hey guys, on today's video we're going to be saving your videos in different ways without downloading any software or using any websites for that matter. So let's get started. Right here I have a couple of videos and I want to edit them and save them in different ways. So let's just right click on any one of these. So let's start off with this dude right here. I'm going to right click. I'm going to choose open with and then QuickTime. QuickTime Player is something that's already installed on your Mac. If you guys have a PC, then you will have to download QuickTime Player, which is a free app, which you can find in Apple.com. Anyways, let's just open it up. Anyways, once we open up our video, we're going to see on the top left-hand side, File. So let's just go all the way to File and then Edit. So right now, what we have to look for is File. Once we click on File, you will see several ways to export this. So down here below, it's almost our very last option. We're going to see export as and then we can choose 4K, 1080, 720p or 480p. And that's how you guys can change the resolution. So if your video is way too big, we can bring it down to 720p, 1080 or 4K. So again, if you're having any problems sending this over email or anything like that, it's way too big, we can downsize it like so. I would suggest keeping it at 1080 at least if your video is 4K. If uh, your video can go down to 720, go ahead. However, 720 is already a little bit pixelated. I wouldn't recommend it for most of you. However, 1080 is pretty good. So right now what we're gonna do is 1080. However, again, you can choose any of these options. Once I click there, I'm gonna get this window in the middle of my screen. So just putting a new name. I'm just gonna put that in. It's my desktop, that's fine. It can be in any folder or USB stick. Anyway, you guys can choose wherever to export this to. So we're just gonna press on save, which is in the bottom right hand side, save. Once you do that, it's just gonna export. This might take a long time or a short time, depending on your video length. So right now it exported that video right here into my desktop, so here it is. And the size of it, if I right click on it, I can check the size, get info, once I click on get info, I can see that in fact it is 1080 and it's significantly smaller. So we're only looking at 27 megabytes. Whereas the original right here, if I go into get info as well, you're gonna see it's way bigger. So here's the original on the right hand side. We're gonna see that it's 269 megabytes versus the 27 megabytes that we have with our 1080 video. So again, this is because the size difference, this is 4K and I just export a 1080, which looks really good on iPhones, most TVs out there actually, unless people update it to 4K, then you notice that slight difference. But then for iPads or anything like that, 1080 is usually just fine. Anyways, if you would like to select any other options, same thing, just open up the video again, go into file, under file, scroll all the way down until you guys see export as, and then choose whichever format you would like. So it can be 4K, 1080, 720p, 480p. So we're gonna do 4K right now. We're gonna change the name again, and we're just gonna press on save. We should see this exporting. Obviously the bigger the video, so the size, it's gonna take longer, uh, the smaller. So if we export something that's 480, it's gonna be way faster. So right now, here is my video at 4K. So if I right click on it, just to check it out, just make sure everything's okay get info, I will see again, in fact, this is 4K. So right here, this 3840 by 2160 means 4K. Now, like I mentioned, the original one was 4K and I just did another 4K, which is a copy of it basically. However, you may notice the size difference. And yes, although we're keeping the resolution at 4K, which is great, we are losing a little bit of information and that's why the size difference. I'm gonna open both of them up. So I'm gonna open this one and I'm gonna go ahead and open this one up. What I'm gonna do is play them side by side. That's because I want you guys to see that there is no huge difference in quality. So if I press play right here, press play right here, you may notice that there isn't that huge difference in quality. So I'm gonna stop them again. I'm gonna just start again from the beginning just to make sure we get them as close as we can. So there we go, there we go. Well, there's gonna be those seconds that I took to play them. But anyways, right now you may see that the quality looks about the same. So we are losing some because it's compressing the videos, although it's keeping that original quality at 4K. 
So again, the original video is on the left hand side and the new video is on the right. So if you see differences, there are very slight differences when it comes to the actual color and uh, there's no pixelation that I can notice right away. However, when it comes down to the color, there is a little bit of a difference. And uh, hey, let me know if you guys see a difference right now between the two videos, a huge difference between them, just let me know. Other than that, this is the quickest way to downsize a video without downloading any software or using any websites or anything like that. Plus we get to keep the original quality to the closest that we can when we do this, just using QuickTime. Obviously there's a bunch of software that we can buy out there. There's Adobe, there's uh, Final Cut Pro, there's a uh, compressor, there's, there's a bunch of stuff that we can download in order to export videos or even edit them. But anyways, this video was just about showing you guys how to do this. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.